Hello, it's Angie with Alexander Reborn's Nursery, and I am here with another unpacking. So this is one of my babies that I've had for quite some time. Um, I just had to put her away into storage while I was moving into my home and getting settled in. So she's been put away for about four months now. Um, so I'm just here today to unpack her, show some of her new things that I got her, get her get her a bath, and then welcome her to the channel so that you guys can see her. Um, I've had this baby for about four years. Um, she is the Landon Scope. I named her Simone. She is my one of my favorite babies. Um, out of this baby, I wanna say she, this is one of my favorites, so I made sure this baby always had what she needed. She never wore the same outfit, and I, out of all the years that I've had her, just imagine that she never repeated an outfit. Like, she's always had a new outfit on. Um, she, she was taken care of very well. Um, I even sent her off to be rerouted when I found when I wanted to change her hair from mohair to human hair. So we're gonna get her out of here and let you all meet her. And like I said, once she gets out, I am gonna change her, put her into some new things, uh, wash her hair, and then let you all see her. So let's get started. And all my babies are wrapped in bubble wrap and tape down to protect their faces and to protect their paint. And so it's like, just like when I do a box opening, um, it's the same process that I go through with all my babies. Um, before I start, I did wanna show a couple of the outfits that I bought, um, some really cute things. Um, I got this um, at Burlington, it was only $6.99. And this is what I'm gonna put on her today. It's a little jumper with some little frillies on there. Um, really cute. It's pink with some white stripes on it. It's got little footies in it. So that's what she's gonna be wearing today once I get her all changed out of that. She also has a sleeper that I bought her and it was only $5.99 at Burlington. So they have the cutest baby clothes at really, really low prices. So if you ever want to check them out, I would suggest going to them. And then another jumper or sleeper um, that says little sister on it. So those are the few little items I picked up for her. And of course, always, I always buy new onesies. Um, those are the few things I picked up for her just so that she has something new to put on once I get her out of this outfit. So here we go. Let's get you out of here, Simone. Oh my goodness, I missed you, little girl. Um, it's really hard when you're moving and you have to put your babies into storage because I was so used to having them all around me. And um, when I didn't have them, I found myself a little sad and I just felt, you know, um, very incomplete without them. So I went and got them all and made room for them. So I have them here with me now. But as you can see, she is in great condition. Her skin is still, she's a really dark chocolate baby. So her varnish is still in place. Her skin is beautiful. Um, the bottom of her feet look good. As you can tell, she still is pretty. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and undress her as I'm talking so that I can get ready. Before I dress her, and this is the cutest outfit. It's a silk outfit for zero to three months that I bought her right before I moved. And I um, thought it was just adorable to put on her. Um, I think I got this from Pat Pat. It's an online baby store. 
and they had this cute little outfit so I bought that for her and it's just adorable little silk outfit I thought I'll share that with you but let's get her undressed snap 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 snaps me and snaps are not best friends Get her done. And here's her little fat legs coming out of there. There's one leg. Let's see, baby girl. Come on out. And here's her other leg. Let's get her arms out. Everything is looking good for her to have been put away for four months. None of the coloring of the clothes rubbed off on her. Um, she was wrapped really well, so nothing, no damages or anything done to her. They were put in storage bins, so no water or anything got on them. So she is in perfect condition. As you can see, she is in great condition. She's still got her chocolate color, which I love. Her hands are still looking good. Her movement is good. And if you feel her, which you can't feel her through the camera, but her varnish is good. Her cloth is still in place. No discoloring there. She still has, she's weighted perfectly. Everything is still in place there. Nothing is shifted, so she's good. What's funny about this baby, I don't know if you can hear the click, but she has a heartbeat. When I first got her, I um, was changing, I was holding her and loving on her, and somehow I put, like I pushed on her chest, and it started beating and it scared me, because I never heard of that before. Um, on a reborn, but she has a heartbeat inside of her, and it's so cute when it when it beats. I don't know if you can hear it, but she definitely has a heartbeat. So let's get to her face, and there she is. Well, hello, Simone. Well, welcome to the new house. Welcome to the new house, baby girl. Well, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, she's still so cute. So she's still so cute. So she is a um, rooted baby. She does have human hair that we are going to wash and get it all together. She has rooted lashes and rooted eyebrow. I mean, rooted eyebrows and rooted lashes. She's painted with Genesis Heat Set Paint. So, and her artist is Julie, Julia Olsen. I bought a few babies from her. Um, she does really good work. I don't know what this is on her cheek here, but we'll get that all off of her once we clean her up. So here she is, guys. Here's my baby, Simone. You would definitely see her a lot in videos and a lot on the channel but I wanted to share her first so that you know who she is and that you know her name so here she is this is baby Simone well hello little girl I missed you this is one of my favorite babies it's one of my favorites oh do we need to fix you there I don't know what these little spots are but we'll have to figure them out and there she is, guys. All right, so I'll have to get her get her changed and comb her hair. And then I'll bring her back and let you all see her all dressed up. So I'm getting ready to wash Simone's hair. Um, I'm going to wash it because it's been sitting for a while. And I wanted to make sure all the dust is out of her hair. Um, I'm not going to put her full head in the water. I'm going to just try to get the hair only because I don't want the water to get inside the vinyl. And I don't want to get her cloth wet. So I'm going to try to do this the best that I can without getting try, ruining any part of her. But I'm just going to wet it. 
and use some Johnson's baby soap. Hopefully that's good enough to get all the dust out of her hair and we will go from there. And this is pool water so that whatever filling that was used in her hair won't come out. It will remain in place. The warm water can sometimes break the silk, but they use the silver here. Put her back just a little bit. I'm just trying to get the end of her hair. Okay. And I'm going to use the baby soap to rinse it out. Again, she has human hair, so I can almost treat this as if I was treating real hair, real baby hair. But of course, I want to be a little gentle and careful because I don't want any of the water to get inside of her vine knife. I had to get a little cut so I can rinse out the hair better. I don't have the little baby bowl. I just have to use a cut for now. I think one wash should be good. And as you can see, I'm not getting her face wet, so I'm not touching the paint on her face. I'm just getting the hair. I really hated to do this, but with her being in storage for that long, And with that diaper covering her, some of the particles got into her hair. And it's like it collected dust. So I didn't know any other way. So hopefully she'll be fine. Okay, so I just washed her hair. Now I'll bring her back when I have her, her hair all done and her clothes on. All right, guys, here she is all dressed up, looking good, and she is all ready for bed. Her hair is washed and her clothes are changed. She's looking fabulous and ready to go to sleep with her brothers and sisters. Now, guys, if you decide to wash your baby's hair, that is totally up to you. I am not recommending that you do it or that you don't do it. You would just have to do it at your own risk. Um, I decided to wash my baby's hair that way. Um, if anything happens with her, that will be my own situation. But if you decide to do it, you would, that's, that will be on you. So, but she turned out fine. Um, when I combed her hair, nothing happened. Um, no strands came out or anything. There's nothing wrong with her face. So here she is. And I, you'll see a lot of her on the channel. And here's her face to match her name. All right, thank you for watching. Have a good day.